Welcome back, lighting friends. It's Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions here to talk about the Cognito Lighting Control software. And last time we discussed the pin functionality and how you could turn these 20 sliders into 40 and make it like a two scene preset desk. Uh, this time we're going to talk about patch. When you start up a new show file, it's very simple. Every light in your system is a dimmer and it's automatically patched on the first DMX output one to one. So when you just bring up slider one like this, it brings up DMX one. So if in your system you basically have a dimmer rack and you just need to bring up some lights, you just do this and lo and behold, the light should come up. But in this day and age where technology is getting a lot cheaper, we're all dealing with specifically LED lights and sometimes if you're lucky with the budget some beautiful moving headlights like this very light right here so let's discuss how we turn these guys right here which are our lights these are the primary element of 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 what you control in incognito uh, and turn them into something more than just something with an intensity now every light, no matter what it is in our system, has an intensity. So in its simplest form, when you select a light like this uh, and, you, and you go into control, you hit the intensity button here and using the wheels you actually have in control. Now, this is not the greatest example, this is showing an RARGB control. But let's say we went in here, we would have, you know, handy control values like 50% or full or uh, put it on at a glow at 20%. Now, if we wanted to go back and make that one light that we have a more intelligent light, like this guy right here, then what we do is from the select screen, we select the light that we want to talk about this one, we're gonna call them number one, great idea. So we're gonna select light number one, and then we are going to go into settings. Now when you select settings, there are the advanced tools here for light type and DMX address and the global setting. Now the global setting is the number of lights that are in your system. Currently it's 100. That's what happens with the new show file. That's a good number for now. We're not gonna go beyond that. Uh, if you do wanna change it, what you do is you just roll this wheel and when you're happy, you would hit the apply button down here. So we're happy with 100 lights. That's what's in our system right now. That's good. We're talking about light number one and we wanna make this light not a dimmer, we want to make it a very light. In fact, this is a very light 2000. So let's go and select light type. And the menu on this side is currently showing us our favorites. Talk about that in a minute, okay? Let's look at all, all the lights that are available in our library. And there are over a thousand of them and we're adding to them all the time. So they are sorted by manufacturer and light type. And if you look, there's a red wheel here and a green wheel here. And they are shown by these little bugs. We call them the B bug, which is red, and the C bug, which is green. Now, if I roll this guy right here all the way down to the Vs, I'm going to find the manufacturer called Very Light. Let me just do this. Do, do, do. There it is. And then the next column is also in alphabetical order. So I will roll this guy down until I get to the VL2000 spot, which is what this guy is. So then I'm going to hit the apply button. Immediately, it changes from light type to DMX address because it's pretty well understood that this guy is not going to be addressed at DMX number one. You probably have dimmer racks already designed at DMX number one. You got to find space in the two DMX ports other than where your dimmer racks live. Now on the back panel of this guy here, I have addressed him to number 400. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to page through using these buttons here, 
paging through. This is my DMX addresses. Now let me just point out something about this. These are going from one, there's eight across, and they go down to 32. If I roll the wheels, it's going to go one whole row of eight down. So one will become nine, and, and it just rolls down roll, a, a roll at a time, a row at a time. So, and, and then if I use the red wheel, it goes a page at a time. So from one to 32, if I roll this, the first guy in the top left corner now is gonna be 33. And if I do another little tick on the wheel, the next guy is 65. So this is a fast way of getting through rather than using the, um, the paging. Now, I told you on the menu on this guy, on the other side of this, I already set him to DMX 401, way out of the way of everything else. So what I'm now going to do is with my finger, I touch 401, I'm going to use a mouse here, and it says light number one is going to take DMX address 401 through 417. This light takes 17 DMX channels, and you can see them here. They are Intensity, pan, pan, high, uh, tilt, tilt, gobo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Lens, time, control. And that is everything that the very light already needs. So when we're happy with that, we're going to hit apply and watch the light. What it's done is it's already gone to sensible defaults. That is a pan of zero degrees and a tilt of zero degrees. It has set itself up so there's no color in it. There's no gobo in it. The dimmer is down and if I want to bring the dimmer up, I would just do this. I haven't struck the light yet, but it would get brighter and it would do that. So that was one light. Let's see what it's gonna take if we wanted to change a number of lights. So let's say number 11 through number 20 are RGB lights. So I'm gonna select the first one and I just touch it on the screen, and then I hold down the shift key, which is here, or on, uh, well, there, I'll just hold down the shift key, and then I select the last guy, number 20, and that selects the range of 11 through 20. So now it's gonna do this to a lot of lights all at once. So then we again hit the settings button, and we wanna change the light type. Now, I could roll through this list, but I already know that I have set, like I did with my VL2K spot and wash, I put a little star beside them, and I did that by hitting the favorite button. Um, well, hang on. If I selected one guy, like the, the VL1100TSD, you see this button here becomes add to favorites. And it wasn't that a second ago because I had highlighted this guy and this said remove from favorites because that's got a star on it. So anytime you want to add somebody to your favorite list, your top 10 list, your inventory, what you guys have in stock, you, what you do is you add them to the favorites. And then instead of showing all lights here, what you can do is just show your favorites. And I've already done this and I have set up a generic RGB three channel red, green, blue light in my favorites. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna hit the apply button and that's gonna take lights 11 through 20 and make them RGBs. Now it's already changed it to DMX address here because it's now saying we need somewhere to put these in the DMX space world. So let's go to a empty area. Let's say it's a uh, 301. So what I do is I touch on the touch screen or use my mouse and I press 301 and it's automatically done the math for me. And it said, there's number 11, which is red, 11's green, 11's blue. Then it goes to the next fixture, 12 red, 12 green, 12 blue, 12 blue, 13. It carries on through the whole range and it takes up to DMX 330 which will be light number 20. And when we're happy with that, we hit apply. So now when you look in this area right here for lights 11 through 20, you see they're all RGB. Light number one is a VL2K spot. 
and the rest of these have been left as dimmers. So next time I hope you join me, we're going to talk about a very special feature of this desk called natural language control. And that takes a full step beyond DMX and it lets you talk to your moving lights in values and units that make sense like degrees, hertz and RPM rather than decibel numbers and charts and tables and all the rest of it. It's a very exciting feature and I hope you join me. My name's Rob. I'm with Pathway Connectivities. See you next time.